Hi, Microbe Hunter here, and today I'm gonna to do a fun little project. Uh, I've got some microscopic worms, and what I'm gonna do is, is I'm going to cut them apart using my surgical knives. And you know what? Both parts, head and body, continue to live on. Well, stay tuned and see how I do that. Well, first the work, then the fun. Before I cut apart the worms, I have to find the worms first, of course, and this is how I collected them. They can be found living in the algae here that I'm now taking home in this glass jar. And at home, this is where the work really started because I had to actually find these worms in the algae because this is the place where they live. So I placed some of this material on a glass plate and I separated the algae and I tried to find them. Um, they were tiny, um, so I spent uh, quite a bit of time um, searching through the material and yeah I collected around five of them and this took me maybe half an hour. It was a little bit of a tedious work I have to admit they're kind of uh, small and tiny and it's a little bit difficult to use tweezers to actually take them out and uh, from the algae without actually squeezing them to death right um, and uh, in any case with a little bit of patience and uh, I was able to uh, yeah, get them out and then I was able to keep them alive in my little glass dish uh, for over a week. Well they're moving around uh, quite happily and uh, I was actually quite surprised uh, to see that uh, none of them actually uh, were damaged uh, by the tweezers. This actually shows how flexible they are. So what I've done is, is I've now taken one of these and I put it under my stereo microscope and uh, this is now how it's moving around uh, and uh, now I was actually trying to cut them apart with my surgical knife you, which you see on the bottom I tried it and it didn't really work um, and you see it doesn't really cut through the worm at all so I had to try several times yes another one maybe it works now and cut and cut cut ah no it didn't work and another try cut and now it worked ha here is the head here is the head um, it did work um, so let's quickly change microscopes and this is now uh, using my compound microscope and you can see that the head simply continues to move um, as if nothing happened it probably doesn't even know that the body is missing uh, so I now zoomed in a little bit uh, more with uh, my 10x magnifying objective and uh, yeah it's actually a little bit difficult to follow it around because it's still moving around so quickly you can see the hair um, on the side um, of the worm and it's still moving around and really um, it was quite remarkable to see that uh, it did not change its behavior at all so it's uh, moving around searching for food as always um, and turning around again and uh, looking for some algae to eat and then all of a sudden uh, the head found something it found Yes, and you can see here on the bottom already, it found the rest of the body. Um, and uh, you can see that the rest of the, of the body is uh, still moving as well, is, which actually shows that it has a very decentralized nervous system. Um, and uh, yeah, here the head meets the body. Uh, do I know you from somewhere? The head wants to know. Well, in any case, uh, it's like this that the head then uh, later continues to grow uh, the rest of the body while the body itself uh, really did not seem to develop very well, which is not really surprising because the body which does not have a head is also not able to eat anything. So therefore is also not able to get enough food to actually grow. But the head itself, uh, well, this is, um, yeah, quite uh, be behaving quite normally. Um, here you see another body part here, another stump uh, on the left side uh, because I did chop uh, several worms apart. It's a little bit of time lapse here. Um, and uh, it's like this, that there are small little cilia, small little hair um, on the head, um, which uh, also moves uh, algae and other food material into the mouth. Yeah, so that is again the rest of the body. You can see that the digestive system is still um, uh, working. It's trying to move forward as well. It's not really working quite well. Well, here is the head again. And uh, it's also quite interesting uh, to, um, to see in my view um, how, and I'm gonna show this later to you, how they start to reproduce asexually because uh, sometimes uh, it's like this, that they will split on their own to form two different worms. And now you see a complete uh, worm next uh, to the head, which also kind of shows a little bit the size relationship here. Again, a little bit of time lapse simply to see the movement. Yes, and this was several days later. And you can see that it's now uh, significantly larger because the rest of the body started to grow um, as well. And yeah, and that's still the, the stump um, which was uh, cut off. 
and still trying to move that's another stump here it's a little bit like a zombie you know it's uh, uh does not have a head anymore but still continues to live and uh, yet another one here they did, they did as i mentioned did not really develop any further um because uh um, they do, do not have a head, therefore are not able to take up any food. So I guess uh, they have to rely um, on the food that they are able to absorb directly through the skin. Yes, again, two stumps here, headless stumps. And here, that's an interesting one. Look towards the end of the tail, there's this bulge, okay, in the lower third. And that is a new head developing right in the middle of uh, an, a grown worm. And as a matter of fact, um, as after some time it started to separate um, and it started to split off there and this is where a second worm formed. So that's a form of asexual reproduction. And so that's the bulge that you see in the lower third of the worm. Yeah, I think it's kind of fun playing around with these uh, worms here. Um, and yeah, I spent quite a lot of hours uh, behind the microscope. Please, if you did like uh, the video, please like and subscribe. I also have a second uh, YouTube channel where I talk about uh, microscopes uh, from a more theoretical approach. So I'll be answering questions. So please also have a visit there. There are links um, in the description below. In any case, I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always or happy worm hunting or worm chopping. I don't know. <laughs> in any case, I wish you all the best uh, and bye-bye. Uh, See you next time.